Let's ask Larko, who's standing by for us in the Hino Hub. Larko, this afternoon, who do you think is going to push Shane all the way? One day, Jess, you're going to ask me a really simple question, and this ain't it. It's going to be tough to know, isn't it? But, yeah, we've got a, uh, we've got a championship elect. There he is, Shane Van Gisberg, and thoroughly, thoroughly deserving. You know, when you look at this guy drive a race car, I mean, he's, he is special. We say it all the time. I mean, quite, quite frankly, now that he's won this championship, I know he's going to be around another year. I'd love to see him go soon. And I mean that because he's so good, like Scotty McLaughlin, he needs to be on the world stage. I'd love to see him go overseas and, t overseas, sorry, and take him on over there because he is entirely capable. So I think at the same time, we've got to enjoy, we are watching something pretty special here. So the team did a great job and we've got to talk about the car because it wasn't just the driver. This is a great team and a great chassis. In fact, that is the most successful chassis car in supercar history. It's called Chastity. A lot of rumours around why that might be the case. I don't know them, but that's its name. That's a fact. It's won 39 supercar races. It's won two Bathurst and two championships now. Just think about the value of that car. That's the last Holden to win Bathurst. That's the last Holden to win a championship. The car was actually sold some time ago, I think maybe even 2020 or 2021, at a, at a price that is a hell of a lot cheaper, I can tell you, than what that would be worth now. That is a piece of history right there. So well done to the team. Going forward, who can take it to Shane? Well, you know, there's a couple of contenders, isn't there? First of all, Davey Reynolds. He got pole position. The resurgence of this team has just been fantastic. Pole position yesterday, of course. But then in the race, we saw all sorts of dramas for him. He looked fatigued. He looked terrible when he got out of the car. In fact, I've just spoken to him 10 minutes ago. Probably won't like me saying I've got to say, he doesn't look as sharp as I think he needs to just before a race. He really knocked himself around yesterday. And part of the reason was this, right? This steering wheel that came loose. We talked about it a little bit. It started to rattle loose. A couple of screws came undone. Now, think about that from a driver's perspective. He told me he was frightened that it was going to come off. So the mental degradation that would come from that would be enormous. And then the thing's rattling. So he's trying to hold that at the same time he's fighting the chicanes. I can tell you, that is what mentally and physically took it out of him. And I want to show you, I've actually got the steering wheel here. So all it was, you can see there you've got your screen, a whole host of buttons and dials you can work with is there's a couple of screws here that came loose on this side. Underneath, that's a decal of the track, so we can look at the track map. And those just came loose, and it was enough for it just to be rattling around. So that was a real, a real drama for him. Now, so they fixed that. That won't be an issue. Will he bounce back today? If he can get over that fatigue? Maybe. Will Davison, again, another candidate to actually take it at Shane Van Gisbergen this weekend. But again... They just had a little drama they ran into. Got to the first chicane in the shootout yesterday. I thought he was going to be on the front row or pole position. Sadly, threw it away. It can, it's easy to do. Made a great comeback from, I think, ninth in the race. Got up to fourth, fifth. Right rear, they had a little drama with the nut. It wouldn't take on the thread. They pulled it off. The boys, they put the same wheel, same nut, same thread, back on again, shoved it in here, give it to the gun again, got it done. But that took him essentially out of contention. So if Will Davo can show the sport sort of speed he did yesterday. And I showed you this at the back end of the race. This is our speed graph. Now, Shane Van Gisbergen, you can't see him. He's up here going along parallel. This is their speed compared to Shane. Now, you can see Reynolds and Mostert, they really dropped away at the back end of the race. Will Davo in clear air, the fact that that line there is pretty well parallel to the top line, he was travelling at the same pace as Shane Van Gisbergen. So that tells us a lot, doesn't it? So, for me... Here's the contenders for today. This guy is going to, hard to be hard to beat. Now that he's won a championship, he just goes up another notch. You saw that in, in the top 10 shootout. But as it would be, pretty cool. Second. Cam Waters third today. Chas Mostert fourth. Davey Reynolds seventh. So they're all in the fight. They're all in the hunt. And they're sick and tired of this guy taking the win all the time. So I think it's going to be a cracking race today.